Hi, I'm Dr. Brad Dunlap, orthopedic surgeon with North Shore University Health Systems in Evanston, Illinois. I'm a sports medicine physician specializing in the care of shoulder, knee, and ankle injuries. Many times a non-surgical solution is available to get you feeling better. However, occasionally minimally invasive surgeries such as arthroscopy may be required to get you back into the game. Today I'd like to talk to you about knee arthroscopy. Here you can see we are in the knee. The patella or kneecap is right above us. You can see that white cartilage there. This is all done underwater so you may see some air bubbles floating around from time to time. We'll spin now now and look at the groove that the kneecap runs in. You can see the cartilage here is this white shiny substance. Should look like a cue ball in billiards. So this looks like nice normal cartilage there. You see the kneecap as we bend the knee back and forth interacting with the groove. We're going to swing down now to the inside or medial part of the knee. And you can see immediately there's some fraying and that's that torn meniscus. And we'll clear the water here. You can see it a little bit better. That area flapping in the wind is the torn meniscus. The femur or the thigh bone is above us. That cartilage straight in front of us. And there's our probe as we probe that meniscus that is torn back there. Again, the meniscus is cartilage you see in front here. It looks pretty normal and good. And as we get back, there's the torn meniscus. That has nerve fibers that causes pain. And that's going to give our patient the pain in there. Again, if we look at the cartilage surfaces, they look pretty good. Nice, shiny, smooth areas. Not uh, too much arthritis is noted. But you can again see how torn and tattered this meniscus is. Certainly going to cause uh, pain in this patient, especially with any sort of twisting activities. Going to get that sharp pain as those areas of uh, torn meniscus get caught up. Again, you can see that nice, shiny cartilage. Very smooth. Looks very good. Going to swing to the middle part of the knee and here you're going to see the anterior cruciate ligament or the ACL right there where our probe is on. Looks perfect. Right behind it is the posterior cruciate ligament where the probe is right now. That also looks uh, normal. So no evidence of any ligament tears in this patient. Now we're going to look on the outside of the lateral part of the knee. And here we're going to see what a normal meniscus, what a normal knee looks like. You can see the meniscus on this side, that rim where my probe is now, is nice and smooth. No evidence of tearing like the other side. And again, the articular cartilage surfaces or the femur and the tibia here look uh, normal. Again, like a cue ball and billiards, nice and shiny and smooth. There's a tendon back in the back part of the lateral knee that we're looking at there. And that looks normal as well. So we've looked around the entire knee, we're happy with what we have seen and we're going to go back to that inside part of the knee in just a minute. Uh, we're going to look real quick just at the front part or anterior part of that meniscus. You can see how this is a C-shaped structure, but again the anterior part of the meniscus where the probe is now looks normal. Now we're going to go back to that inside part of the knee, we're going to take our instruments in there and this is almost like giving a haircut. We go in there and trim up this unstable or torn part of the meniscus. You can see there's really no blood supply to this part of the meniscus, so it's really not something that can be easily repaired. So again, typically we'll go in there and clean out or remove the torn part of the meniscus, a so-called partial meniscectomy. Remove that area, and you can see after we do this, we'll put our suction shaver in to remove the debris. And you can see right here that suction shaver device will suck all the debris in. Then we'll have to go in and do a little bit more work in terms of cleaning this up and getting the rest of the meniscus that's torn out of there. But again, this should help the pain by removing this unstable part of the meniscus so it can't move back around in there and give discomfort. So you can see there we got rid of the loose areas and when we're all done and we trim it up a little bit more you can see we're back uh, to a stable part of the meniscus you see just a little bit of blood supply there in the meniscus which again is really on the outer third of the meniscus but as we continue to get some flow in here and move the water through you can see that there's no more unstable meniscus nothing's going to catch as this patient bends their knee or moves around we're very careful not to cause any collateral damage in the knee while we're working in there But this looks good and this should help this patient in terms of getting rid of their pain 
by removing that torn part of the meniscus, you can still see there's a, still a fair amount of meniscus remaining that's still going to help act as a cushion in the knee. After surgery, expect to be on crutches for a few days. There are some rehab exercises, including potentially physical therapy, that will help you get back. And full return to sports and activities is about six to eight weeks.